today's topic. I don't know if you guys caught that on the emails, but it was, it's called cultivating confidence. And one of the beautiful blessings of this group is it gives us a platform in which we can all air our struggles and frustrations and it be received with understanding and relatability um and how we're like like i get it like it, mm -hmm. we can all be like oh finally someone else can understand what i'm going through um, and, um where have you struggled with confidence well, until i was about 18 i used to be a catfish admittedly and then what i recently struggled with confidence is being an adult with a disability that has weird side effects like if i'm out in public and i jump and my and my uh yeah. soda spills there goes my confidence and then i just laugh it off and, and then get confident again having something that's part of you just completely ripped away from you and not I'm sorry. <laughs> no, take your time. No, it's okay. It's okay. Not really understanding why. <laughs> I really truly believe that only the strongest people are called to bear the heaviest loads. But we are here to remind everybody that you are always enough, no matter how you show up in the day or what happens, you are always enough. But I immediately went into the mode of, okay, how can I live the way I want to live with what's happened to me? And I immediately went into that mindset, but, but that doesn't mean I wasn't frustrated and I didn't get upset because, because the world expects us to adjust to them and they don't adjust to us and that's wrong. I just, I just and, resonate so much with what everyone's saying and and um, Talia and Jessica and your grief and, and it's a process for sure. It's like whether it's losing someone you really love or whether it's losing a part of yourself, whether that's a body, piece of your body, a, a way of life. For me with chronic illness, it's my life completely changing my body changing and within the last couple of years like m my life looks so different and so I totally get the idea of like well, how did I get here what's happening nothing looks like it used to um, and for me it, it just resonating with that word process it is a process and I finally came to the point where I was like okay this is where I am right now and I don't know where this is and I'm not sure this is where I want to be but this is where I am. And so I'm just gonna sit here and be with this and be wherever this is. And eventually kind of, it's it's imperceptible sometimes, but you do kind of move further down the road in that process. And I totally get what you're saying. And it's, it's okay, it's hard, but it's okay to be wherever you are on your journey. Um, yeah, I feel you, I mean, I like I go through the exact same things that you're going through and sometimes there's progress and it feels like peaks and then you know you have setbacks and then sometimes the valleys feel like bottomless pits but I mean just like you um, heard you know just now like sometimes it's about the process and sometimes it's you know I've heard from other people who've acquired a disability later in life and had gone on 20 30 years from then and still are in recovery in way in some ways are, and i think acceptance is the very first step in confidence you know there are people within our uh group who has uh really mastered self-confidence um and has uh gone through the different process stages like i really appreciate what you said marisa about this is a process and that's a great way to put it and it's a process meaning it never ends like well mm -hmm. you know we gain confidence we fall down we get back up gain it again and, and it's, it's a cycle um and yes it's a roller coaster yes. Thank you yes yeah. it is people if you want to live it's going to be a roller coaster so hold on tight what uh, 
uh, works in terms of helping you feel self-confident? One, you wanna... I need to understand myself. Two, I need to understand where, where I come from. Three, I need to understand my history and where my history is taking me. If I fight today, tomorrow will be um, better. My <laughs> suffering and struggles were not in vain, right? Mm -hmm. They they fortified me. They made me stronger. They um, they made me who I am. And so I know it sounds cliche, like embrace your struggles, but it it it's true. It it, it creates your character. Uh, Molly says red lipstick is my war paint. I love it. I I uh, just I mean like. You know, we all have our bad days and we feel like we failed or something. Like sometimes I'm like, Ugh, I just didn't do enough today or I didn't do what I wanted to. And I don't know, sometimes I really get depressed or sad about it, but I don't know. Then I just try to, I don't know, remind myself that I think everybody has this kind of struggle in the world, not even just people that have disability, just mm -hmm. definitely yeah. struggle with insecurity and lack of confidence. And you just got to push it aside and keep you know, going. You, we are our own worst, I think, um, enemies at time, right? Like we put the most pressure on ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if it's not us, um, I mean, that's what gets us out of bed. That's what, you know, gets us motivated, right? We hope, um, because we are also, even though we are our own worst critic, we're also, you know, our own cheerleader too. And it's, you know, finding each day, like something to be grateful for, no matter how tiny that is, really, for me, helps with the confidence as Actually, well. Um, uh, have you guys ever read any um, Eckhart Tolle? So he talks a lot about ego, and it's yes. that ego that really away at us. And so, you know, when you can release that, and if you're happy and confident with the person you are, it doesn't really matter like other people's opinions of you because you're being the best you. And so I think that's where a lot of my confidence, when I do have it, comes from. But again, it's a roller coaster. It's constant work. Confidence or love we think of them as feelings, but they're not. We may feel a feeling, but it's a choice. Loving someone is a choice that I do regardless of how I feel sometimes. Like maybe I'm really angry at you, but I love you, so I'm gonna to choose to be loving toward you. And I think it's the same thing with confidence. Sometimes confidence, it, I mean, it's a little, yeah, fake it till you make it, but it, it's true though. I might not feel confident, but I need to go out on that stage and I need to act confident. And a lot of times when you make the choice to do the action, the feelings eventually catch up. I don't have to wait to feel confident to be confident. I don't have to wait to feel love to act loving. I think that these ladies, um, the claiming disability ladies, someone else's opinion is not my truth. And that's become a mantra for me. I'm a, I'm a Christian. And for me, a lot of my confidence comes from realizing who I am in Christ and that my worth and value is something beyond my body, my whatever, you know, the way my hair looks or whatever. And then also realizing, like I said, I get to choose. I get to choose faith over fear. I get to choose to be loving. I get to choose to do confident things, even though I don't always feel them. Yeah, you got to put your energy where you want it. So if you're focusing yeah. on the negative, guess what? That's where you're ne that's where your feelings go. But if you choose to, you know, put your happy self forward, it's amazing how that gets reciprocated. Do you ever notice that? Kill them with kindness. It's a smile, universal language, yeah. right? Yeah. Even your own thoughts aren't correct most of the time. If you have generalized anxiety along with a disability like I do, I have a lot of negative thoughts and I grew up in a negative, abusive environment. So a lot of times you have that tape recorder going in your head, I'm too fat, I'm too ugly, I'm too this, I'm too that. Even your own opinions are not your truth. So tell those feelings to leave you alone. I won't say what I really tell those people. <laughs> off feelings, like those are not correct. The moment you stop searching for it, you have it. It's a state that 
comes and glues like a flow. Um, and so I don't search for confidence. Now, I don't search for confidence because it's either you have it or you don't. And one of those things where like confidence is you either have it or you don't. And you have to, if you are not confident, you have to put in the work uh, to be confident in whatever subject it is. It's part of part of it is be, being willing to be vulnerable, and the other part of it is just being, not trying to be, but just be. Yeah, and I and I think yeah. there's a difference between being confident in specific areas of expertise, like knowledge, um, and there's a sense of self right like a sense of confidence so you understanding like oh if i don't know about this i have the ability to gain the knowledge that in itself is confidence right to be able to admit what you don't know and to be able to learn, know to how to be resourceful and go get yeah. it and that mm -hmm. you're worth getting it opinion that i believe confidence is a choice um and i know it sounds so simple um and how, whether it's easy or hard, that's up to each individual. Um, mm -hmm. it, the answer is simple. It, it's choose and how you want to see yeah. yourself and, and how you want to see your circumstances. But it's not always easy and it's and, and, and sometimes it's hard. Um, but again, that's our power of choice. And I think um, like cultivating confidence comes down to choose, choosing choosing confidence yeah i like that i am just very thankful for the realness the rawness the willingness to share um that's where the value in these conversations come from um and everybody being willing to open up and to know that like marisa said this is a very safe space to be able to um express yourself so i and that also takes confidence so thank you to everybody who has been confident enough in themselves to participate. And uh, I just, I adore each and every single one of you. And I can't wait until next week. Yes.